Hello, Friendly Man here today, and I'm here to help you train today. So, how do you train? What do you have to do to train? Now, what do you got to do to train? Uh, you have to spend two and a half hours. That seems to be the best. Uh, one thing you have to do is look at annotated games. Normal games, too, will help, too. Now, a person that trains and a person that doesn't train, they usually seem they don't have the understanding of different problems. The person that has trained, you can see the problems and sees different ways on how to get a better solution. And that's what I'm trying to help you do. I'm trying to help you get to these better solutions. When I was at my uh, student's house, I, we ran out of battery, so that's why uh, we couldn't do the last one. Now the last one is, put eight queens on the board and where they can attack each other. Now at the end of the video, I will show you how to put eight queens on the board and where they can attack each other. This is the student. <laughs> this is one of my students that uh, I, I teach on a weekly basis. Okay? And, and I want to do something more about with training. So if you're a chess teacher, this will be great for you. If, you know, if you're a young student that's going to be going up in chess, this will be also great. So this is how I train my students. Sometimes I have to put the kids through their paces. So, in this one, it's called the Black Knight, okay? and I usually bribe them a little bit. Do you remember what I give you for, a, for the bribe? Uh, black Forest Chocolate Cake. Yeah. See, that's kind of funny for me. It's like Black Knight, Black Forest Cake. I put the pawns off-center, and then I put the knight in the corner here. Then I'm using its knight pattern, it moves all the way over here to this corner. I also use poker chips to put where the pawns can capture because these are the places the knight is not allowed to go to. It also cannot capture the pawns. And then, uh, me and the student, we, uh, we do it together to uh, find the best ways to do it and then he can learn from my experience. Afterwards, he times me and then we get to a certain time and then my student has to beat me with that time, and then he gets the prize that we talked about. When me and my student do the Black Knight the first time, I show him how to do the first two squares. So, it usually goes like this. So I'm trying to get to this square. A black square to a light square, it's going to be an odd number of jumps. So, you've got to be one, two, three. And then I get to this square, and I just tell him to go backwards. Here, 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 here. my student is I put pawns all on the home row like this then I give him two bishops and then his purpose is if he can capture all the pawns uh, he wins but if I can get to promote one to a queen then I win 